So what is propaganda? Well, if you've ever seen a commercial on TV, you've been exposed to propaganda. Propaganda is a set of strategies designed to persuade someone to believe in an idea, support a cause, or even buy a product. It is also designed to influence or manipulate people. And it is often exaggerating the truth and contains hidden messages. On purpose, advertisers and speakers try to create certain emotion in their brain. And there are seven main propaganda techniques. We're going to talk about bandwagon, for example, jump on board, name calling, Kenden X is a big baby, testimonial, I use this product and it's great. Glittering generality, he's honestly refreshing and a real change. Plain folks, this is the soda for everyone and card stacking. It cleans, it rinses, it shines. Lastly, we have transfer. When you vote for him, you vote for Hitler. So let's talk about bandwagon. This is the technique that encourages you to jump on board or take a part in something because everyone else is doing it. For example, don't be the only one to miss out on this incredible offer. And it's the treat everyone wants to eat. Buy one today. Come join the fun. We also have name calling. This technique involves calling the competition or the opposing side's names. For example, the EPA is a big bully. Do you really want to buy from an incompetent company or my opponent is a lazy bum? We also have testimonial. This technique involves having a celebrity or other respectable person like a doctor endorse a product, person, or cause. For example, I'm Michael Jordan and I love Nike. Three out of four doctors recommend our medication and I'm famous mutation and I urge you to donate to the SPCA. We also have another technique called glittering generality. This technique involves using empty words or words that just sound good to make a person, product, or cause sound good. For example, I promise to bring hope and change, or it's the greatest toothpaste on the market. Another example is supporting the polar bears will bring joy and peace. Next, we have plain folks. This technique seeks to convince people that a product is for the average person. For example, a politician stops to eat at a local fast food restaurant, or a luxury car is parked in front of our modest house in a commercial. A food company even shows people shopping for its product in a store. Another technique is called car stack, and this technique is involved listing all the features or good aspects of a product. And this is something we usually see a lot. For example, donating to our cause leads to an increase in number of polar bears, a decrease in pollution, and a general feeling that you have done good. Another example is Major Johnson lower taxes, reduce crime, and cut down on government waste. Another example would be our toothpaste cleans, whitens, and freshens the breath. The last example is transfer. Transfer involves connecting a person, product, or cause with something good or bad. For example, a political candidate stands in front of an American flag on a commercial. Another example is the name of a company is displayed next to a destroyed rainforest. Or lastly, our delivery service is as fast as a NASCAR driver. So next time when you see a commercial or advertisement or hear someone giving a speech, ask yourself, how do they want me to feel? How are they trying to influence me or are they trying to manipulate me? So I want you to guess the technique and we're going to see some examples and you're going to try to name the technique we're using.